Mr. Fluffy Pants here, and today guys another video, and today guys I'm going to be going over my Lego collection, which I think the last time I did a video on this was probably like th two and a half, three years ago, so my collection's grown quite a bit since then, and uh, this collection's, my brick set collection at least, is like uh, near five grand, I don't know if that's all this, but I got these two shelves, and I got another shelf behind me, but you know, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so first of all, this over here is my newer shelf, and um... You know, up here I got my Iron Man Hall of Armor, and then you got like my Hulk Buster right there, because why not? I got like a lot of them, I'm missing a few. Um, you know, I wish I did have them all, but you know, I got quite a few right there. And then I got the Jurassic Park T Rex Rampage, beautiful set. Uh, yeah, I love that set. Uh, and then right here we have my Infinity War display, which, and you got the little Far From Home jet right there, but, you know, I do love this display, and probably some of the best Wave of Marvel sets, I would say, definitely for sure. And then, let's see, down here, I have the Compound Battle, and then the, uh, War Machine Buster, and then I have one of my favorite sets, the Stranger Things Upside Down. That set's beautiful. And then down here, uh, I got the, um, Battle of Crate, or Defense of Crate or something, and Captain Rex is ATT. Still got a little bit of room right there, but uh, I just got this to have more space, and I'm almost out of space now. So then over here is probably is my biggest shelf. Um, uh, up here I just got a few Funko Pops, or at least some of my favorite ones. Uh, you know, my scary stories telling the dark ones and Michael Myers. Uh, and then right here, you know, I got this is uh these two shelves are pretty much Marvel shelves. Um, you see, I got like. Uh, that's my oldest Marvel set, the, uh, Malibu Mansion, uh, you know, you got the, uh, Hulk helicopter drop, got a lot of Spider-Man stuff right here, some Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 stuff, some, uh, comic sets, and over here you got some more Spider-Man sets, so I kind of, you know, really jumbled up, but, you know, I have to maximize my space. Down here, we got the, uh, Web Warriors Bridge Battle, we got Detroit Steel, and, you know, all that. Got a couple of sorted characters. Um, we got the uh, the Winter 2020 Marvel sets. You got a you know a Civil War or two Civil War sets right there. Then right here's my Scooby Doo collection. The only one I'm missing is the Mummy Museum, the like twenty dollar one, unfortunately. But you know I do got I do love this collection right here. Then down here you know you got the Y Wing, Kyler and Shuttle, Krennic, uh, the Holler convey x pretty cool and then see when i get down here we have uh the debt is off my favorite modular in palace cinema fantastic and then the atm6 you gotta love that and then the fairground mixer beautiful set love that and then over here we got the uh santa's workshop you know i love that set the winter village train and then the ghostbusters ecto one and then actually back here we got a monster fighter set and then some uh I believe it's two fair request sets yeah because one of them's like that little battle pack set and then over here i got the ideas exosuit but let's go move over to that third and final final shelf but uh let's go and get started up here i got uh you know some marvel minifigures i got my uh sealed train and my obi-wan kenobi poly bag I got this really cool uh 80s transformers lunchbox right here some of my extra pieces um from sets and stuff you know nothing too special Got some Star Wars minifigures up there. We got the uh, First Order Transporter. And then we got the uh, First Order uh, Special Forces TIE Fighter. You know, you got my two collectible minifigures right there. And then we got the uh, the TIE Striker. Very cool. The Hover Tank. Right here's that little train set. And behind that is a uh, Darth Vader Transformation. Then right here we have the little Batman sub. And back there you got a couple... Lego Batman movie sets and the Low Rider. Okay, and you know, right here's uh this is mostly my MCU shelf, really, to be honest. Uh yeah. Right here we got, you know, Ant-Man the Wasp and Spider-Man Homecoming, Doctor Strange, Captain Marvel, even the new polybag, uh Aquaman. And I got the uh Ocean Master from that uh, Bat Sub set. Uh, that's the only reason I got that set, really. But, you know, that Bat Sub is actually a pretty nice build. You got the Carbon Freezing Chamber. You know, really cool Star Wars set. There you got the brand new Black Widow set. But there's Molten Man. You got Black or uh, Black Panther collection. And then the Thor Ragnarok collection, which, you know, is beautiful. And then down here we got the uh, Spider Crawler. 
uh, which is the really only non-MCU Marvel set on the sh entire shelf. We got the Hydro Man Attack, and then the uh, UCS Hulk Buster right there. And then down there's all my movies, but below that, I got a few more. I got the uh, the Tide Dagger, you know, really cool set. I got a couple of the uh, Sith Trooper Battle Packs. And then one of my favorite sets is the uh, 20th Anniversary Slave War. Anyway, guys, that's my entire Lego collection. Um, I do got a bunch in storage, like, uh, you know, all those boxes right there are just full of Legos in storage. Um, but, you know, these are really the ones I care about and want to display. Um, some of my favorites is uh, that one, uh, that one, you know, that one. And then uh, Slave one's really cool. Uh, UCS Hulkbuster. You know, I love, like, my entire MCU collection right there. But, anyway, guys, let me know down below what you guys think about this collection. And, uh, you know, let me know what your favorite set in your collection is. But, anyway, guys, check out my Twitter and Discord. Link in the description. Like and subscribe for more. Check out some of their videos. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.